So now we're getting out of the jail cell. Now that we have lost to Seth the Scaleless. Uh, it's kind of an interesting way of doing this. I mean, it's, it's always fun. It's fun when some games fuck with you and just kill you. It's not fun when this game just fucks with you because there's such a penalty for losing. And it's so easy to die. It's like, oh, what the hell am I doing wrong? This boss is going to be so hard. And then you spawn in this new area and you're like, oh. Uh, I guess that was supposed to happen. I'm trying to remember what other games have done that to me, just intentionally killed you. I think maybe Metal Gear Solid 2 is the first one I can think of that really did that. So anyway, uh, stabbed that tall snake serpent dude uh, through the fence, through the gate, uh, the gate, the fence, the, the jail cell wall, and uh, you can pick up the pick the key up off of him. You'd think if they threw you in jail that they'd take away all your weapons, but I guess not. So this only happens once, but um, uh, they ring this bell and all these little Medusa looking guys down below, Medusa looking girls, uh, leave their jail cell. And you can kind of hear the bell ringing. And I believe actually that if you quit the game and uh, just reload, after doing that, the bell will not be ringing. So, if for whatever reason you're doing a low-level run, I think that that's a good way to do it. But I'm running, I'm chasing this guy just to kill him because I don't want him to sneak up behind me later. But uh, you really should be going down to the bottom of those stairs uh, and turning off the bell so that eventually you can uh, also get the key to open this big door that I'm right next to, which is where you want to be going eventually. Uh, and then um, killing all the Medusas that are running around and opening up any of the side door jail cells and also talking to Big Hat Logan who is trapped yet again and um, uh, behind the uh, another jail cell uh, at the very bottom of this whole area so the Medusas are kind of dumb. Um, they split up, which is good. Uh, when you redo this area, they're all going to be at the bottom, and they're the way that they aggro is pretty dumb. They don't uh, like if you shoot one with an arrow, they'll kind of chase you down a little bit, so it's pretty easy. Just don't let them grab you. When they kind of reach back like that to grab you, they can do a ton of damage. But they're so slow and so easy to miss, and also very weak, very easy to kill. Obviously, check out all the side things if you're obsessive like me and want to kill everything and make sure you get all the items. Honestly, most of these little side door jail cells... Uh, actually, I didn't check to see if you can close the door. If you can close the door, do it, because what's going to happen is when you run through this area a second time after touching a bonfire, all the stupid um, uh, crystal soldiers are going to chase you down and get aggro right when you just, like... Even if you're just walking past. So it, it can be kind of a pain. But there's nothing really good in there. So actually, it might be worth just skipping all these guys. Because you're going to end up fighting them multiple times. And it's just kind of a pain to deal with it. So anyway, uh, just go back to down to the bottom. There's a ladder at the bottom that takes you up to an area with two of the tall serpents. And one magi serpent. And... Uh, Ooh, I got lucky there that I killed him in that one stab, even though I'm, I know I killed, could kill him in one stab. Apparently these guys also have a very high chance of dropping uh, humanity. I think that's it. And they also give you quite a few souls. So uh, definitely farm that area if you're looking to level up after you turn off the bell, obviously. And... Um, go back to the, the bonfire so they all spawn in one tight little area that you can clear very quickly.
Amen.